Hi everybody, it's Jean Ann again. I wanted to do a quick video post just to talk a little bit about something I call a vegetable adoption strategy. Because it occurs to me that there are others of you out there who weren't born innately loving vegetables. Uh, I was not born innately loving vegetables and so there are some things that you can do to ease your way into eating more vegetables and it's good for you and you know it's good for you but they can also be incredibly tasty. The key is in really finding a way to prepare it that appeals to you and then eating that thing more than once. Um, for a while there I just couldn't eat olives. I, I don't know why. Most of my life I couldn't eat olives and I just decided I, I want to eat olives. Because olives, they're great and you can use them in so many things and they're a great flavoring agent. But um, for some reason there was just something about them I couldn't deal with. So I created a strategy for myself and now I love olives. I am not as nuts about the green olives. I do like the darker olives better, but the fact is I, I love olives and you can do the same thing. So first you need to find a variety or a, a cultivar that you like. So let's say that you have a problem with uh, broccoli, but you like cauliflower. Why don't you try a Romanesco uh, hybrid, which is this fabulous um, kind of a light green, strangely shaped uh, cauliflower that is green. And it kind of tastes like a cross between the two. Um, and I think actually I think there is a, a cross between the two called a broccoli flower. Um, if there isn't, there should be. And by eating that, you can kind of ease your way in to eating broccoli. And so you want to find a way to um, beets, for example. Lots of people don't want to eat beets because they're afraid uh, that it'll be the flavor will be too strong or it'll stain their counters or whatever. So eat golden beets. So fi first of all, find some adaptation of the vegetable that you're willing to try. And then try several methods of cooking it. And appreciate the beauty and the flavor and the texture and just slow down long enough to really um, get to know your vegetable. Because by doing that, it will give you a deeper connection and a, and a bigger reason to eat the vegetable besides you're just supposed to. And if you grow it yourself, that's even more motivation to, to uh, eat it because it's something that you've actually produced. I'm not saying this is going to work for everything, okay, because first of all, I, I can't deal with cilantro. I can't do it. It tastes like soap, and no matter what I do, it tastes like soap. I have gotten to the point where I can eat it in salsas, but I'm not eating a big batch of cilantro. So, but for most vegetables, you can find a way to make them that is appealing to you. And start with roasting. It's a great way to do it. It just takes olive oil, salt, pepper, and a nice hot oven, and getting that caramelization on the vegetable it makes it a little bit sweeter, a little bit nuttier, and um, I mean, I you, seriously, I can get my kids to eat almost anything, um, except for spaghetti squash, and I don't know why, of all things. But the point is, is that roasting vegetables is a good way to start. So, create a vegetable adoption strategy. You can do this, and once you've been successful with one, one vegetable, you can try others, and soon there'll be a ton that you're eating, and you'll be well, maybe not a vegetarian, but you'll be well-versed in the ways of the vegetable. Have a good evening. Bye.